Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs and in today's video we are going to create this elegant text animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin. And don't forget to check out my logo animation masterclass course on Udemy, link is available in the description so you can do check it out now. And if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So as always here we are in adobe after effects let's create a new composition and we will call it as main animation width is 1920 height is 180 frame rate is 30 and duration we are going to choose only 10 second long and background color is white color and simply hit ok then go to choose grid and guide option and hit on title safe action now i am going to select my text tool over here and let's type our the first text for the font i am going to choose oswald and i am going to delete the stroke and i'll choose black color for the stroke and let's do one thing we will create black color for the stroke stroke also and but the stroke width i am going to choose very less which is point let's say one and for the font i am going to choose oswald but you can choose when whatever font you want and i'm going to choose the thinnest version of this font like extra light like this now after doing that let's uh, type our first text i'm going to type motion like this select this layer press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center let's increase the size again i am ctrl alt home go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically like this and let's adjust the font size a little bit yep this looks good to me and now uh, go to the character options and let's decrease the distance between these alphabets like this let's choose minus 35 i think this looks good to me now we will start to animate this text now first of all go to the animate options and we are going to animate position property initially i want the position over here then go to the add choose property and we are going to choose let's say tracking and let's make this tracking amount minus 50 so all the them are going to be here go to the add choose property go to the blur value and increase the blur value to 20 go to the add property and choose opacity and let's make this opacity zero now after all, all adjusting all the settings go to the range selector create one keyframe at the start go to around 1.15 frames and let's make this value 100 so you will get this kind of animation now select those keyframes and hit f9 to easy is those keyframes so we will get something like this now at this point i'm going to want another animation so let's go to the animator i mean let's minimize this animator one and make sure that you are not selecting this so let this select this and select this text and we will choose animate and now we are going to choose over here is stroke width so simply click on it so it will create animator 2 and initially i am going to increase the stroke width somewhere around like this okay i think 16 looks good too and then go to the add properties and choose tracking and let's increase this tracking value so our text is going to be proper like this and now if you see from the start you will get this kind of animation now after all of this i want uh, over here is stroke animation so now i'm going to go in my range selector and i'll create one keyframe at the start then i'll go to around three seconds and i'm going to make this value 100 so i'll get this animation uh, so hit u select all of these keyframes and hit f9 so now if you see this animation we will get first this text animation then this stroke animation okay so this animation is done now we need to focus on the lines over here so let's do that so my complete text is at this point so i'm going to select my paint tool i don't want any fill so i'll delete this fill for the stroke i'm color i'm going to choose black color and stroke width i'm going to choose 10 pixels and now we will create one you know lines for this so uh, from here to here to here i'm going to create this kind of stroke or let's simply bring this downwards now select this let's choose five pixels let's say at least for now or i think 10 pixels looks good at least at this point select this press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center like this so we have this at the corner 
now select this hit ctrl d press s unlink this and let's make this minus 100 on x press p for position and let's bring this from here to here like this now select both of them hit ctrl d and let's bring them at the top press p and let's bring them downwards and now we have to change the um, the way they look so press s unlink this and let's make this minus uh, on x y axis so we will get something like this select this press s let's make this minus 100 on this axis so we will get something like this so basically we have this kind of grid type structure over here and let's try to adjust the position properly like this let's move with the help of arrow keys i am adjusting this yeah okay so this much looks good now we have to animate the position of them so first of all select all of them press p for position create one keyframe over here go to the start and let's select this go to the align tab align it horizontally like this so if you see we will get this animation like this and then i want stroke animation also so i'll select all of them in search option i'm going to type stroke uh, so we'll get stroke width option create one keyframe on each stroke width like this and at this point uh, i want stroke animation i mean let's say up to three pixels so i'm gonna do that i'll adjust three over here and three over here like this okay so you will get this and along with that you will get this stroke animation over here also so hit u then go to the start select this and this all of them press t for opacity initially make this opacity zero then go to around 10 frames let's make this opacity 100 like this and hit u select all of those keyframes and hit f9 like this so if you see this animation now you will get this kind of animation like this if you see like this okay so after doing that uh, we want a rotation animation for this one so let's uh, go a few frame forward let's say somewhere around 20 frame forward maybe like this over here now i am going to select this text i'll convert this layer into 3d select this text press r for rotation let's create one keyframe at y uh, let's uh, go to somewhere around 5.15 frames and let's make this one complete rotation select those keyframes and hit f9 so you will get this kind of stuff or i think uh, instead of rotating on this one i think we need to rotate it on this one okay so let's create one keyframe at x go to around 1.5 frames let's make this one complete rotation like this select those keyframes and hit f9 so you will get something like this and if you want then you can make two rotations also like this or i think one rotation looks good then at this point i want all of them should be go outwards so press p for position again to create one keyframe go over here and select this zoom out zoom in a little bit let's move this from here and sorry uh uh, do it carefully let's move this out of this composition or you can move this at the corner over here then after that i'll select this and move this over here then i'm going to select this one like this okay so let's make this fit so we will get this kind of animation over here now i'm going to select this motion i'll hit ctrl d uh, hit u and let's delete all of these keyframes we don't want that over here and over here i'm going to change the text to different text so i'm going to type graphics let's say like this i'll select this and i'll move this layer over here and i'll make it apparent with this motion text over here like this okay so basically all of our animation is done now 
uh, one thing we need to do over here we will do that later but uh, all of the keyframes are done now we need to adjust the graph editors so hit u select all of this keyframes so uh, uh, whenever uh, you want to select simply select all of those keyframes right click uh, and go to the graph editor right click and choose edit speed graph select all of this graph by holding shift i am going to move one handle over here and one handle over here so now if you hit play this animation you will get this this and then this okay but if you see over here we will get a little bit of weird stuff because we have still haven't adjusted this so let's see how we can do that now i have enabled the motion blur so we will get some proper animation like this now at this point i want this text should change to the graphics so i'll select this graphics and i'll move this over here and select this motion press ctrl shift d to split it out and simply hit delete and now i'm going to enable this graphic so now if i see this animation i'll get this kind of shift over here okay now uh, after all of this we have this this and this now over here i want uh, one motion text at the background so i'm going to type that so let's type motion select this text and this time i'm going to choose bold version let's decrease the font distance and let's delete this fill and we will choose stroke stroke width i'm going to choose 0.5 let's say at least for now select this text press ctrl alt home go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press s for scaling option and scale it somewhere around like this and bring this at the backwards now select this text select your rectangle tool and we will create one mask on it like this go to the mask option increase the feathers and simply invert this so you will get something like this if you want then you can select this and press t for opacity and let's make this opacity uh, if you want you can decrease it also okay but we want animation for this text also uh, so what you can do you can simply select this motion text which is over here you can go inside this you can go to the text and we have animator one over here you can simply select this animator one and hit ctrl c to copy then uh, i want this text animation should start from here so i'll move this over here and i'll press ctrl v to uh, bring that animator one over here so as you guys can see you will get that keyframes over here also so if you see properly we have this text animation then this then we will get this okay so also enable motion blur for this now right click new and we will create one null object we will hit ctrl a to select all of them but by holding ctrl i am going to dis deselect this graphics layer because this is parent with this one and all the remaining layers i am going to make it apparent with this null object now select this null object press p for position alt click on the stopwatch and apply wiggle expression on it to type wiggle inside that i am going to type 3 comma 6 so if we are see this animation from the start along with this animation i'll get this little bit of wiggly effect to this animation now over here at this point i want scaling animation so i'll select this i'll go around over here i'll press s create one keyframe then i'll go somewhere around over here and i'm going to make it 150 select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift i'll move this handle over here and this handle over here and after that i'll select those keyframe i'll hit ctrl c ctrl v right click keyframe assistance and time reverse keyframes like this okay now select those keyframes go to the graph editor and let's select those graphs again and we will move them a little bit closer to each other like this okay now at this point uh, right click new and create one adjustment layer go to the effect and presets panel and add a blur effect on it and i'm going to choose gaussian blur double click to apply create one keyframe at blurriness hit u in middle of that i'm going to make this blurriness to 30 uh, let's go over here and let's make this zero select those keyframes and hit f9 so if you see this thing now you will get something like you know, blurry animation over here like this and if you want you can select this hit ctrl c ctrl v right click keyframe sorry uh 
we don't need to do that because the animation is same and this time i'm going to decrease the duration so by holding alt i'm going to reduce it up to over here like this so we will get that little bit of uh, blurry animation uh, just an extra touch to this animation okay and this is how you can create this kind of text animation then press ctrl y to create one solid background and bring this at backwards and at 7 i am going to press n because this is going to be my last portion and now if you see this animation we will get this this and this so this is how you can create this kind of elegant title animation inside of after effects so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then stay tuned